Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, we are going to be bleaching my roots. I have not bleached my regrowth since November 1st of last year, so it's been over three months. I have been removing hair color and one of those hair color removers was bleach based and I did get it on my regrowth. So it's all spotty right now and kind of looks like a calico cat. We're gonna get a good clean platinum base so that way the rainbow colors that I'm going to put on it next will look amazing. Normally, I wouldn't film me bleaching my roots because I have so many other videos on it and it's just kind of like a tedious thing, but I got sent this Arctic Fox bleach, so I wanted to make a video on it and try it with you guys. I don't have affiliation with them or anything like that. They've never paid me for anything. They do send me color sometimes, like for instance, I got this in a PR package, but I don't have an affiliate code. I don't make money from them. I've never done a sponsored post. We're gonna try this today and see how it works. I'm gonna be completely honest. When I first saw this, I was like, you've gotta be kidding me because I think it's a great idea, but the volume that's included in here is 35 volume. And if you don't know anything about that, that's almost as high as you can go. There's 10, 20, 30, and 40 volume, 40 being the highest and most harsh. I would never use that on my hair. My hair is not dark enough to have to use 40 volume. I normally use 20 volume. So when I saw that they released this and it was with 35 volume, I about choked. I was like, girl, people are gonna be frying their hair off left and right. That is not a good idea because this is not a professional brand. And so people who are purchasing this are not professionals and probably don't know what they're doing. They think, oh, lightener developer, I'm gonna bleach my hair. I'm gonna use this to bleach out the old color on my ends. And then they're gonna be putting 35 volume on top of previously lightened hair and frying their hair off. I was very, very worried about it. I didn't think it was a good idea. And that's why I didn't purchase it when it came out. Now, with all that being said, I was skeptical at first. Since I have gotten it, I've thought about it. I've looked at the instructions, I've read it. They are so specific with the instructions. They have warnings on the box telling you like it can damage your hair. Don't overlap it on pre-lightened hair. They are very specific on how and how not to use this. So that makes me feel better talking about it and supporting it. They are very, very clear on the instructions, how to use it and what you should do. Also, I was thinking a lot of people who bleach their hair don't have a level seven hair like I have. It's darker. And so 35 volume is fine for people who have very dark hair. I was just worried for the people who don't need 35 volume reaching for this and then frying their hair off. If you look at other brands that are not professional that release like kits like this, Manic Panic, theirs is 30 volume. A lot of other companies have 30 volume developer in their kits. It is also infused with a lot of oils. It's infused with castor oil, mango seed butter, cocoa, sunflower oil, acai, and papaya and it has poly care split therapy, so it's going to help repair the hair while you're lifting it. Out of all the other kits that you can purchase, like Manic Panic or any other ones, I think this is definitely the best. Another reason I think that this kit is better than all of the other ones out there is because it comes with a cream lightener. Most companies who make vivid hair color come out with lightening kits and it is a powder bleach. Powder bleach is not as good for your hair. A cream bleach is much more gentle on your hair and it lifts the exact same. Cream bleach is definitely better than powder bleach in general. So now that I've done some research on this, I've thought about it, I've looked at the box and the instructions. They are very clear with how you're supposed to use this. I think it's okay to use. Just know that you are getting 35 volume developer and if you have pre-lightened hair, don't use this on pre-lightened hair. If you have dark hair growing in that you're just trying to bleach your roots, I think that this would be fantastic to just bleach your roots with. Let me snatch off my wig and show you guys what my hair looks like under this. Here is what my hair currently looks like. If you have not seen the previous video of me frying off my hair and it coming out in handfuls, I will leave a link for you guys right up here. You can click on that and watch it after this video. I have had oil in my hair and a deep conditioning mask. I actually used Color Oops. Um, on the rest of the orange pieces and that helped a lot. So now we're good to go. We just need to bleach these roots. Here's what we're working with. It is an absolute tragedy. In the back is mostly blonde. It's all patchy and all a mess. I have oil on my hair right now, but I'm going to drench my hair in even more oil just in case the lightener touches my ends. I don't want any more breakage. So I'm gonna be very careful with how I apply this and make sure I'm not overlapping on my ends. Here's the cream lightener and here's a 35 volume developer. 
These are nice also because you can squeeze out as much as you need and then save the rest for later. The kit comes with some gloves and these are actually high quality gloves. Another reason why I suggest this kit over any of the other ones you're contemplating on getting. They are good vinyl gloves. This is also cruelty free and vegan. If you did not know that, they donate 15% of their proceeds to animal charities. If you are only doing your roots and or do not require as much product, mix one part bleach to two parts developer. Use a scale for accuracy. For example, one ounce of bleach would be mixed with two ounces of developer. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be doing. So I'm going to be mixing this 35 volume with some of my 10 volume to make like a 20, 25 volume mixture. Here is what the mixture looks like. For today, I am going to start bleaching in my front two sections because when I was using the color remover that was bleach based, I got it all over my roots in the back. So my regrowth back here is already pretty light and up here it's mostly dark. So I am gonna start in the front two quadrants this time. Normally I would start in the back, but because my back's already like a level eight blonde, I wanna start in the front. This says to wait 30 to 45 minutes, paying close attention to the condition of your hair while processing, which is so important. It says do not leave on longer than 45 minutes. Okay, here we go. I'm really excited for my next rainbow hair. I also am doing the colors that I used to do. I tried doing red in my rainbow and I just did not like it. It wasn't for me. I really prefer having like the vivid neons in my hair versus like true rainbow shades. So in my last hair color remover video, when I did the punky colors, and Joyco color eraser, you know, my hair fell out and everything. But then a week later I did color oops and I did a test strand before I put it all over my hair because I wanted to make sure my hair wasn't gonna fall out anymore. And for some reason it made my hair feel better than it did before. I don't know if it's acidic or what, but it made my hair feel better. So I put it on the rest of my hair and it helped so much get the rest of the orange and red out. It like, that's the only thing that took all of that color out. I'm not gonna show you guys uh, me bleaching the back of my head today. I filmed a whole separate video on how I bleached the back of my head because you guys like wanted to see how I did it. So I will leave an eye card up here for you guys if you are curious about the process of me bleaching the back of my head. It is challenging, but I set up a huge mirror behind me so I can see the back of my head. That's another reason why I don't wanna put it in this video is because I have to hang a mirror behind me and it's just not very aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> I'm going to bleach the back of my head and then I'll be back once I get everything applied and we'll see how it looks. So I wound up using the whole entire container. I had to remix and I mixed all of it and used every single drop. My regrowth was like all the way out to here so I had to make sure I got it all. I set a timer for 20 minutes so I'm going to let this sit and process. It looks really really good so far. I will come back to you guys on a different day once my hair is dried so you guys can see what it looks like and how it turned out. I'm going to let this sit for the remaining time and I will see you guys on a different day. Okay guys, I am back. It is the next day and here is how my hair turned out. It did such a good job at lifting all of that regrowth that I had. It's all even and nice and it's ready for some color. I didn't use any conditioner in the shower. I just washed all of the bleach out and that's it. I don't have any product or anything in it because I'm getting ready to dye it and you're not supposed to use conditioner or anything before you dye it with semi-permanent colors. This is how it turned out. 
really good it's all even and a great canvas to do my rainbow hair i left the bleach on for 20 minutes so it did a really good job for only leaving it on 20 minutes normally i have to leave it on around 30 so i think it did a great job especially if you had really dark hair i think that this bleach would be amazing for you because it is 35 volume my ends feel fine i didn't lose any hair in the shower at all so i was very surprised and thankful i must have done a good job applying it and not overlapping it on other pre lightened areas because I didn't have any hair fallout and my hair is totally fine. That is all for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there so if you're interested in that make sure to go check that out. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and until next time guys stay weird. Bye.